Hey guys, me Peyton, your friendly neighborhood wardrobe stylist. I need to get ready, but I remembered I said that I was gonna make this video and then I never did, so here we are. Um, I get asked this question all the time on my lives. Peyton, I'm plus size, but I want to find good vintage. Where do you suggest? And my suggestion is a little, uh, not bizarre, but it's a little different. So when I got into vintage in my late teens and early 20s, I was actually plus size. I was a modern day 16, 18. And as someone who loved 1960s and 1970s fashion, it was really frustrating unless I found a white whale at, you know, a Goodwill or something. Um, so I ended up making friends with a lot of people in like vintage fashion world. I ended up making friends with a lot of dealers. I ended up making friends with a lot of people who were also just enthusiasts that went out on their own. And these were people that didn't necessarily have my own personal style. So it was really nice to go, okay, I know what Peyton's looking for and I kind of know what size she is. So if I find something, I can reach out to her. And there's so, like there's so many more resources now. I mean, there's vintage fashion TikTok, which some people get weird about it and they only want to do vintage all the time, which I get. That's how I was in my early 20s. Um, and some people are a little like, I don't know. There's weirdos in every fandom though. I mean, I'm in the record community and people think that it's bizarre that I don't buy reissues <laughs> or I like black vinyl, you know, stuff like that. I feel like liking black vinyl is like being a pick me girl though, so I'll call myself out. But the big thing is you want to get involved in the community so you have other people looking out for you. So for me in record world, I'll have a friend of mine that's a fellow record dealer that'll be like, hey P, I'm out, one of your white whales is out here, you want me to pick it up for you? And it's just so nice to have other people look out for you. If you join some vintage forums on Facebook, um, like vintage fashion collectives, there's several for plus size women, and you can find people that are looking to trade or people that have sourced something, and that's how you really get a well connected group of people to help you build your closet. I mean, I'm still in a bunch of vintage forums. Um, the big thing that I collect now are like vintage band tees, and I've got a couple sources and whew, they know where to hit me in the pocketbook. But I think a lot of people just expect to walk into a vintage store and find something. And I wish that it was more accessible. There are several vintage stores that only do plus size online. It's worth a shot. If you want me to list those out, I will. But the real secret to getting affordable vintage fashion when you're plus size is to create a community around you. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday. I have a bajillion Zoom sessions to do and I got to see a man about a rhinestone jacket. I'll talk to you guys later.